here in the Weather Center now with meteorologist Matt Serbo. You've been keeping a very close eye on this hurricane. Mm -hmm. Since it all started, it was more slow moving, um, but it was also strong. Exactly, and now uh, it's moving a little faster. The wind field has expanded, so it's affecting more people, but the overall, the max sustained winds are a little bit lower. So there's still plenty of impacts to be felt from Dorian uh, in the northeast Florida coast, anywhere from Daytona Beach through Jacksonville, and then right up the Georgia coast. But here's some good news. It's starting to move north a little bit faster now. Sustained winds, 105 miles an hour. If you're playing at home, that's a Category 2 hurricane. And you can see it's still forecast to make that turn right along the Carolina coastline. Could make landfall anywhere from Charleston, South Carolina, all the way to about Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, late tomorrow and into early Friday. So still some effects there, maybe some high surf uh, along the Delmarva up toward New England, and then finally hauling off this weekend and then becoming more of a windstorm across parts of far eastern Canada. Locally, we're a lot cooler. It's quiet out there, 15 to 25 degrees cooler compared to yesterday morning. 48 now in Denison and in Harlan, 50 Norfolk and Atlantic, mid to upper 50s for, for the remainder of us. Tons of sun out there, well, clear sky right now, but we will have a lot of sun in the forecast. Just a couple of clouds coming in late today, late this morning into the early afternoon. See that in Storm Predictor, more sun than anything today. Midday temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. This afternoon, a little more sun late today. Winds east to southeast, only at about 5 to 10 miles an hour, with highs in the upper 70s, near 80 in Nebraska, mid to upper 70s in Iowa. Gorgeous weather. Get outside, have some fun in the sun later today. Clear and comfortable this evening, 10 o'clock temperatures in the low to mid 60s, but overnight we actually have a warm front coming through, so south winds will pick up a little bit more. We'll get a few more clouds, and tomorrow morning, yeah, spotty rain shower is possible with the dry air sitting over us right now. Not a lot of that's going to reach the ground. More sun, gusty south winds tomorrow afternoon, and look at the difference. Up to 90 and more humid on Thursday, but then another front comes through, no rain. A drop in temperatures, a little more comfortable on Friday. Better chances for scattered thunder showers on Saturday, maybe a few lingering rain showers on Sunday. Cooler weekend temperatures, but then we spike right back into the upper 80s and near 90 early next week.